Also, I know that you're the head of this uh, review panel on the Charles Petri report on Sri Lanka, and I wanted to know, I think that was announced back in December. What have you found? Where does it stand? What, what improvements or reforms have been made? Thanks. Uh, on the, uh, the uh, Charles Petri's report on Sri Lanka, uh, it, was, uh, it was taken very seriously by the Secretary General, made public also. Uh, and um, I was asked by him, the Secretary General, to uh, head a group to uh, uh, look, go through the recommendations of the, uh, of the report and above all look forward uh, to the future so that we avoid uh, coming in such situations uh, as we did in Sri Lanka and as we have in several other tragic situations. Uh, this group was established uh, in January and um, uh, we were, they have worked very diligently. It's co-chaired by Andrew Gilmore of my political unit and uh, Paul Akiwumi, my chief of staff. And we have a very good secretariat headed by Michael Keating, uh, who is a very respected colleague, who was the deputy SRG in Afghanistan. Uh, and uh, what I found most uh, important was to bring in all the agencies, departments, uh, programs, uh, funds who indirectly or directly are involved in the situation uh, or the role of the United Nations in Sri Lanka. So we have had a working group with representatives of all groups working very intensely on taking these recommendations seriously. Uh, we also have uh, invited experts from the outside for hearings. Uh, today I had a hearing with uh, a group of very respectable colleagues of mine uh, and many others, Jan Egeland, uh, uh, Staffan de Mistura, uh, Michael von Schulenberg, uh, well I can't give you the whole list but we had a, a video conference of one and a half hour today where we got their reactions to the report. So it's being, it's a being processed right now and I suppose I will within a month or so uh, receive uh, the, the report uh, and um, then it is up to me to uh, assess these uh, recommendations and uh, go to the Secretary General and discuss what uh, measures should be taken. And I hope this whole process will be uh, finished by the middle of June at the latest, I would hope. We take it very seriously. I think uh, we, uh, we have, of course, situations today where all these questions come up. Uh, I mentioned Myanmar, but above all, I think about uh, Syria. Uh, and uh, we need to really prepare ourselves as but as good as possible for this type of situation in the future. Okay, so.